Bro, this stuff is so annoying. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with yet again another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly this right here and how to fix it. I'm sure you've all had this at least once in your life. And if you have, or if you're clicking this video for the reason being in the title, you, you probably want to know how to fix it. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So this is just a, like a game crash code thing. Like, I don't know what it's called. You get it when your game crashes. Like, there's no point in filling out, th out this. It literally does nothing. Like, it will still crash. So I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So once you get this report, you're probably watching this video, just press send and close and I'll show you exactly right now how to, how, like a hot fix for this little error code. What you guys want to go do is, what you guys want to do is go over to your search bar and just do the classic percent app data percent. Once you do this, you want to go back to app data, you want to go to local, then you want to go down to Fortnite game, saved, config. Then you want to go over to crash report client and then see all these folders. These are probably all your recent crashes you've had. I've had quite a few as you can see. You want to basically just delete these. All of them. Select them all. Press the delete key. You want to delete all of these folders. Once you're that, go to your file explorer. Go to this PC. Go to this PC on your file explorer. Windows C drive. Program files. Mine's here. You want to go to Epic Games. Fortnite. Fortnite game. Binaries. Windows. Like Win64. When you're here, you want to scroll down just slightly and you will see these three folders. This is the main, f no these four, sorry. This is the main thing you're gonna need and these four could literally save your game from crashing for like, for like good. Every single one, you wanna right click it, go to properties and then change a few things in the compatibility section. What you guys wanna do is select both disable full screen optimi optimizations and also tick this box here. So run the program as administrator. Once you do that, you wanna press apply and then okay. So once you've did that for every single one, you wanna basically just then, um, you can literally just close out of this. So you may think now it's just as simple as opening your game, but now I'll show you an issue you may get when doing this. So this is what should pop up when um, after doing this. It will say, please verify the installation. What you want to now do is just press dismiss. There's your Epic Games launcher, which you'll probably already be on. And then just press the setting cogs here. Click verify. This will take 10 minutes and it'll just verify your application. As soon as that's done, you should be able to launch the game. If not, and you're still getting this error, which will be... Uh, very unlikely basically what you're gonna simply want to do is just dismiss this once again back to where you just were when you go into your epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries windows 64 and go back here and just for every single one you want to basically just um make sure you untick this which is running this program as an administrator basically some accounts on your pc some users like don't actually have like administrator available on them so some administrationally uh like options won't be available for the user i don't know some accounts just don't have it there's a way to enable it in the settings but this video isn't how to do that so just if that happens it it might not stop it as much and it would help if you did could run that the app as an administrator but it just 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 turn it off so make sure this is still on so make sure you're still disabling the full screen optimizations for every single one like so all the ones with the fortnite logo just make sure you you take this off right here then you are one of the rare people this you, you had to do that you would want to then go to your battle eye and then uninstall battle eye this will literally take 30 seconds as it's only a one um kb file but uninstalling this and then also reinstalling it they'll literally take 30 seconds and it could fix the problem even more and then you could also go back go into your anti-cheat and do the exact same thing but with the anti-cheat what you'd have to basically open the setup and do it through there with the anti-cheat you just have to repair the service for this one repair service and it will do it all for you this should take about a few, just just a few minutes that will then do will refresh these two apps which are like the main key feature to run in fortnite and that should make things a lot better in terms of your game crap the final thing you could do is also just generally changing your stretch resolution i'm not really going to show you how to do that in this video but i've got a whole video based on how to do that which will be linked in the description below so you can go and watch that on how to put stretch resolution on that actually it, it calms down your graphics card a bit like doesn't put as much pixels into the like the graphics card doesn't need to do as much so it, it saves a lot of memory and cpu on your pc which may be the reason you're crashing but if you have a low end pc that would be a good idea to just play stretch and it can actually stop you from crashing native resolution does use a lot of like a lot of your graphics card and can crash your game you know if you guys did enjoy this video just just be a good guy you know drop a like subscribe turn on the post notifications to never miss a video and yeah that all the support would mean a lot like i'm trying to grind out my videos and stuff yeah, if you enjoyed the video please subscribe drop a like tell me if this worked down below and yeah